All right, what's going on guys? Try back again here to bring you another video. This one's going to be do like another Walking Dead video for today. In this one, let's give our thoughts on what we're more excited for at this time. All Out War for Season 8 or The Arrival of the Whispers. All right, and I thought this was a fun video to do, so I hope you guys enjoy it. And I hope you guys will leave a comment below and uh, let the rest of us know what you personally are more excited for. Feel free to thumb each other's up or thumb down. Um, between The Walking Dead Season 8, of course, premiere with All Out War, or eventually getting to see The Whispers, which might be near the end of the season. It could be Season 9. We're going to have to wait and see uh, when this, uh, you know, how this all works out and uh, when they start to kind of put little hints, drop little hints for The Whispers in the uh, TV series. Series. So this question was sent through by Bilari, and you guys can send through questions as well too, should you want to, if you want me to add them to uh, the next Q&A and get uh, your questions uh, out there for the rest of us to comment on, including myself. So a good question from Bilari says, hey Trev, uh, overall, are you more excited to see All Out War in the Walking Dead television series or The Whispers? He says, personally, I am more, well, I guess it could be a girl, personally, I am more pumped for The Whispers. Love the channel, smiley face, so smiley face back. Um, here's an awesome question. If you guys have any other great questions, send them to me for sure. So going into season eight right now, um, they've been showing, you know, there's been a few previews, of course. There's the trailer, as always, as there always is. But we're starting to inch our way closer to the season start. We have Fear the Walking Dead returning September 10th, and I'm pretty excited for the second half of that uh, with a double premiere, double finale for this year, which should get us pretty pumped for Walking Dead to start with season eight. Um, so right now, they're not making a big deal about All Out War, which kind of ticks me off because personally, I've been waiting in the Walking Dead TV series to see All Out War for a long time. We were very excited for the Negan arrival. We were very excited to see Negan bash some skulls. And then after that, it's like, okay, what's the next big thing after Negan's issue 100 skull bashing, you know, introduction? Um, the next biggest thing is, is All Out War. They've kind of started off the war. They've kicked it off, but they haven't really you know, uh, made it a feature of the show right now. Right now, it seems the feature of the show is the fact that the show's gotten to 100 episodes, which is great. It's great that the show's gotten 100 episodes, for sure. You know, nothing against it for that. That's awesome. It's a huge accomplishment for them. You know, 100 episodes of this kind of TV series is quite rare. It's very hard to do. Most of the time, when you're dealing with a 100-episode series, you're dealing with, like, um, you know, episodic stuff where, you know, a storyline doesn't go on further. You have stuff like The Simpsons, you know, comedy, um, you know, other shows like maybe Cookie Cutter, uh, NBC crime dramas where every episode you have, you know, investigators that, that are searching for some kind of, you know, killer or what have you. <laughs> These kind of cookie cutter shows. But for something as special and as different as The Walking Dead, I do think it is a huge accomplishment for them to get to those 100 episodes with 42 uh, minute runtime episodes. So it is a big deal for sure. Uh, but I think All Out War is also a really big deal too. All Out War is supposed to be or at least for me, I mean, out of all the Walking Dead volumes, out of all the Walking Dead story arcs, All Out War is probably the best, I want to say. I think even still, even with the Whisper of War and some other stuff that's uh, happened in the series, um, you know, the Too Far Gone, uh, Made to Suffer type of, you know, Governor War and all this, it, or you can't even call that a war, like Battle with uh, the Prison versus Woodbury. Uh, out of all of those, you know, for me personally, All Out War is my absolute favorite. So it's quite weird that this question even is kind of coming up. Uh, with Bellari asking, but it's a very good question because in the TV series version, you know, it's kind of like, what does the TV series version do better? Does it do action, all-out war type of stuff better, or does it do horror better? That's a very tough question to answer. The horror question is kind of like, well, if they're going to draw back on the brutality and on the, uh, you know, the violent nature of the effects action too, but definitely with regards to horror, which the whispers are definitely horror, they might be the scariest group uh, ever in The Walking Dead. Um, and we haven't even seen them yet, so it's very exciting that they're coming up soon. Uh, you know, that horror aspect with the TV series version they'll probably do a better job of that. Horror is also something where, in terms of budget, it's a lot easier to do. You guys see how many B-movies come out for horror movies all the time and Conjuring This and blah, 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 that, and <laughs> whatever this. You know, horror movies are just, you know, constant horror movie mill. They just, you know, almost to the point where there's so many of them, they don't even mean anything anymore. So it doesn't cost 
as much, I think, to do horror as it usually does to do big action. Big action is usually, you know, you have the explosions and all the Michael Bay effects and all this kind of stuff, right? So, um, you know, for this one personally, I should be more excited for All Out War, but based on the fact that they haven't been selling it in the uh, in the trailer, they haven't been spotlighting it, they haven't been letting us know that Season 8 is All Out War, you know... It, calling a spade a spade, you know, letting us know this is what's up, this is going to be big. Instead, they're like, oh, yay, we've got 200 episodes. Thank you, guys. This is awesome. Okay, but all out war, man. Come on. <laughs> so, uh, you know, it's a great question right now. And, and I would say even I'm probably more excited, which I shouldn't be, but uh, maybe for the whispers right now. I mean, I, I, you know, in terms of like what we've been shown so far and what I think they'll probably be able to do. It's weird with the TV series, which story arcs from the comics end up being the best. There's certain ones that you would think that would not be that good, and they turn out really, really great in the TV series. And then there's others that you think would be really great, and a lot of the audience doesn't like it. For example, season uh, seven with a lot of the Negan comedy and, and getting to know the saviors for the first time. You know, with the TV series version, a lot of people really didn't didn't dig those episodes almost at all. And it's uh, really crazy because based on the comic, you'd probably think like, okay, this all-out war stuff is going to be like the best season ever. It's going to be the you know everyone's going to love it. Everyone's going to be so happy to see this and uh, has not has definitely not been the case so far with what they've shown us so far with All Out War so we're going to have to see you know how the TV series versions of these turn out but um, it's like a Terminus situation you have Too Far Gone with the governor attacking the prison which you know based on the comic is like the most exciting part of the first until Negan arrives it's pretty much the most exciting part of the whole story but then in the TV series version you have No Sanctuary with Terminus which a lot of people like way more than Too Far Gone and the governor and the stuff that happened with that uh, just the lead up to and all the stuff with terminus which is more it's similar to this conversation because you know with terminus you have a, a, probably the closest group to the whispers that we've seen up until now so there's my answer for you bill Ari. i hope that makes sense what i'm saying is i should be most excited for all out war naturally based on the comics i would be but from what they're showing you know maybe you're right maybe the whispers uh maybe we should be more pumped for the whispers because they're going to be able to deliver that to us in tv series version uh probably better than they're going to be able to bring us war and that's one thing about a tv series that is unfortunately a downside most tv series do not have the kind of budget to do movie quality stuff like that you know versus an action movie you're probably never going to see a walking dead season that looks like you know i don't know a modern day action movie so at best at best hope we can probably at best case we could probably get like no way out or no sanctuary or something like that that's probably best case for what we can get in terms of action uh, type of uh, of stuff aside from that you know, it's going to be the drama and it's going to be horror that probably makes the show uh, stands out most for the Walking Dead TV series. But write those comments. Let me know. Uh, J Dubs eight one three says, "Trav Q and A. If they do uh, the old man Rick, do you think he will? Okay, so do you think he'll lose a hand or have to? Use, he's not going to lose a hand. You know, <laughs> okay. This is the last. I'm not answering any more Rick losing hands questions. No, uh, it's way too late for that. Jack Dugan says, uh, "I used to always be excited for the premiere, but it's just not the same this year and." I, I hear you, Jack, and I know a lot of people thumbed it up and that kind of deal, and I'm with you guys as well, too, right there. I'm not as pumped for this year's premiere as I usually am, but that said, I'm going to try to, you know, to bring the enthusiasm that I usually do. I'm going to try to be as positive and as, uh, you know, upbeat as I usually am, because it is Walking Dead. It is my favorite TV series of all time. Yes, there's controversy about the show. There's lawsuits, and there's different things like this. There's a lot of people that didn't like season seven, but hey, you know what? I mean, there's other people as well, too, like I saw in the uh, the Blu-ray video I did recently, where they said, am I the only one who liked season seven? And you're not. You're not the only one who liked season seven. You know, there's a lot of things about season seven that were really good. I did a recap review of the whole season, and, you know, to be honest, maybe it's just because The Walking Dead has been on for so long now and it's done 100 episodes that people are starting to kind of fall off on there's a lot of possible reasons for that we've discussed them before but um to sum it up really quickly i'm going to try to get hype for the show again i'm going to try to get excited for it because you know i want to get that excitement back for walking dad i don't want it to always be like you know a negative thing like this person suing this person and screw amc and screw it and a lot of people saying screw gimple this kind of thing you know they work you know i'm sure you know scott gimple works very very hard to bring us uh, you know the best series that he can and uh, you know of course there's budgetary restrictions there's stuff like that not every network is going to put a hundred million dollars in each season it's just not going to happen in terms of production so 
you know, it's it's what it is, but uh, it's still my favorite show on TV. It's still the show that I look forward to the most and I like seeing the most. And that's just all there is to it. Maybe it's not the most exciting uh, or we're not the most hyped for this premiere as we ever have been. But maybe that's natural after we have a season 7 premiere that's probably the most hyped episode in the history of television for us Walking Dead fans. Uh, as it was for me. I mean, I can say that for sure. So... We'll see. We'll see how we feel when they start releasing more kind of teaser trailers and stuff like that. And uh, hopefully, uh, we'll get uh, we'll get the fun back. You know, uh, let's uh, you know what's the Trump thing? Make make Walking Dead great again. Well, we'll try our best to enjoy it as much as, as we can and stay positive. So that's what it is. Uh, CG Central. Uh, they need to get the Undertaker or an actor uh, or the actor who plays the Hound for Beta uh, in the Whispers in the Walking Dead TV series. Man. Okay. Well, they're not going to get the Undertaker. They're not going to get to Mark. Uh, what's his name? Starts with a C. Uh, it escapes me at the uh, at the moment. Um, but there, you know, there's no way they're going to be able to match to pay him enough for it. It's just probably not going to happen. I highly doubt it. But um, you know, Rory McCann, who plays the Hound from Game of Thrones, and Game of Thrones is ending soon. Man, that would be amazing for like season nine or something if they brought um, Beta in season nine and they had Rory McCann to play him. That would be just absolutely a match made in heaven perfect casting let's see if they can make that happen because i think it's a no-brainer to to get someone like him uh hopefully they don't just get some bigger guy that's unknown i think he could be really fantastic and really scary to play beta for sure that would be great can you imagine seeing you know jdm is vegan fighting against him or something or rick fighting against him oh my god that'd be so sweet uh jose uh zapita says uh, the walking dead is slowly dying and you can thank Game of Thrones for that? That's what he said. So, you know, I don't think you can blame Game of Thrones for The Walking Dead and what's been happening with it. It's not dead. It's 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 had a dip this year. It, you know, and, and we don't need to deny it. It's what it is. It's dipped this year in popularity, in everything. It's dipped. Um but you know what? I I believe in The Walking Dead. I think it can. I think it can. Uh, you know, make a comeback. I think it can because I mean it is a really great show. You know, everybody watches. Everybody talks about it. So let's see what they got for us for this year before we judge too quickly. Let's see. It, it might uh, it might come back at least at least maybe to around like a season four type ratings or something like that. You know, twelve million episodes, something like that. Let's see if we can get to twelve or thirteen this year. I think it should be able to at least get uh, get there if it's done right and it's all out war. It should be. Derek Ackerman says, I don't like the way old man Rick looks. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, you know, I, I hear what you're saying. It does look kind of goofy. It's kind of silly. It, it's a lot different from the comics. In the TV series so far, from what we see, and we see the way Andrew Lincoln looks as it, it just, it doesn't match for me. It's like, um, no, it's just, it, it's kind of strange. So, yeah, I'm just, uh, I'm not sure really what to make of it. It's, uh, it's a weird look for Andrew Lincoln. I'm definitely not used to it yet. And we're going to have to uh, see how we all kind of uh, assimilate it. We kind of uh, get used to it over over time because it is is different. Uh, Herb Coswell will be the last one. He says, also, there's no alternate Negan kills on the Blu-ray uh, DVD. WTF. Um, and so, you know, and this is the thing. Like, I did that video and pretty much everybody said who bought the Blu-ray or DVD. And for you guys, just confirmation. Now, not just one person. When I made that video, I, I heard it from, like, maybe five or ten people. Now I've heard it from, like, 30 or 40 people. So, you know, it seems to me, yeah, the, the Blu-ray, it sounds like it's kind of a colossal failure. If they didn't include the uh, Negan alternate kill scenes either, they were, like, we wanted to see that included. They used some of them in the episode. But um, as like kind of potentials for Rick and what could happen. But uh, man, they should have included those because those would be something like they could have made this Blu-ray DVD release so great. And it just feels to me like they just rushed it out and they didn't really include anything. So now some people are saying, well, the swearing stuff will be on the special edition. It's like, well, you know, I mean, we all want to get this is the thing about special edition. I want to get, you know, the release of the Blu-ray or DVD when it releases. You got to wait later for the special edition. So if you're going to not buy it and then you got to wait for the special edition and then buy that, it's more expensive too. It looks cooler cuz you get a display zombie or something depending on how they do it each year. Um, you know, so it's it's a sweet release for the special edition, but if you already bought the regular Blu-ray or DVD, are you then going to buy the special edition as well? Now you have doubled up versions of the same thing and it's kind of like, well that freaking sucks. So it's still, you know, even if they did release the Negan swearing stuff on the special Special edition. Am I going to spend however much the special edition is, 70, 80 bucks, whatever it costs, 60 if you're US, whatever, um, to get, you know, the, um, to get the, the super zombie, the Demogorgon Rick uh, knife zombie, Winslow or whatever from the, the heapsters or the scavengers. Um, you know, am I going to spend all that money just to get that to be able to see, you know, 
We'll, we'll see. You know, I, I don't know. But it's kind of like if you already bought the regular, you're not going to want to buy that too. So it's kind of a mess. But um, what we'll do is when I do get my copy and I do get a chance to look it over, I'll let you guys know my thoughts and everything it includes, do the review, that kind of stuff. But everything I've heard this week is kind of disappointing about stuff that they really could have included with Season 7's release on the Blu-ray. And it just seems like they didn't. It seems like they didn't go for it. And Herb's absolutely right. Why didn't they include the Negan alternate kill? We know they filmed them. We know they filmed them. You know, uh, we got to see clips of some of them. And then they don't They don't release it. And that's like, what? I mean, I just, I don't know what to say. Anyway, that'll be it for today's video, guys. Let me know what you're more excited for. The first appearance of the Whispers or All Out War. And based on the comic, which story arc you uh, preferred better. Uh, and also, if you bought the Blu-ray DVD, feel free to comment about it below. Any of the things that irk you or things that you did like that maybe are on it that no one's mentioned yet. If you like this video, please thumb it up below. You can share and favorite. And if you're new and you want to subscribe to the channel, I'd appreciate it. You can subscribe at the bottom left. That's it for this one. I'll see you guys again soon for another video. As always, it's Trev. I'm saying peace. Later, guys. See you soon.